Hello everyone and welcome to Stream Attack Now. So if you're feeling the urge to have a fling and stray on your significant other, well, you should throw on one of these seven films first and take a cold shower. These seven movies will quickly change your mind. First up is Gone Girl. This 2014 movie starring Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike, well, they were the perfect New York couple. They had everything going for them. They had it all. But then suddenly luck changes and things begin to quickly fade. They end up moving to Missouri and the marriage starts to suffer. After the boredom sets in, Nick, played by Ben Affleck, starts to stray and becomes involved in an affair. And then the plot takes a big turn. Now, I won't reveal what happens, but let's just say this is an ultimate story of what a cheating spouse can cause. Lots of anger, lots of distrust, and lots of plot twist. Go check this one out. This is Gone Girl. Many of you will remember this one. This is Revenge, a 1990 film by Tony Scott starring Kevin Costner. He plays Jay Cochran, a newly retired U.S. Navy pilot. He travels to Mexico to spend time with his friend Tibby Mendez, played by Anthony Quinn, a powerful but corrupt businessman that has much of the country in his back pocket. While there, he meets his beautiful wife, played by Madeline Stowe. And by the way, this was one of her first breakout major movies. Now, she's become very unhappy in her marriage. Kevin Costner and Madeline Stowe soon engage in a steamy love affair. But when Anthony Quinn learns of this relationship from one of his henchmen, he sets out to get even with both of them. And let's just say, this one will definitely make you flinch several times. This is Revenge. Next up is Derailed. Now this is a 2005 film starring Clive Owen and Jennifer Aniston. Now Derailed starts with a man that finds himself in a moderately happy marriage that's been quite strained due to his daughter's illness which is type 1 diabetes. By chance one day he meets Lucinda which is played by Jennifer Aniston, an attractive and intelligent woman. And the two quickly discover how much they have in common, like their stale marriages. Their interest inevitably leads them to a special meeting in a hotel room and that's when the story gets well derailed. Although it got mixed reviews I was definitely on the edge of my seat on this one and I think you'll be interested to see how this all plays out. This is Derailed. Unfaithful. Now, this is a 2002 film starring Richard Gere, Diane Lane, and Paul Martel. Now, this is about a New York woman, played by Diane Lane, with a seemingly perfect marriage, has an accidental encounter with a charming Frenchman. Their physical attraction is immediate, and although she realizes she is risking everything, she cannot help herself from being drawn into a passionate affair. In time, her husband, played by Gear grows very suspicious. Things are just not adding up. They're not making sense anymore. And eventually confronts her lover with a level of anger he never imagined himself capable of. This is unfaithful. Disclosure is up next, a 1994 American thriller by Barry Levinson, starring Michael Douglas, Donald Sutherland, and Demi Moore. The film takes place inside a Seattle research and development headquarters in a high-tech corporation. The company is about to be acquired by a larger firm, and the boss, played by Donald Sutherland, stands to make $100 million, so needless to say, he doesn't want to hear any bad news. Meanwhile, Douglas expects a promotion and is shocked to learn it will go to a former lover named Meredith Johnson, played by none other than Demi Moore. Well, the day she gets the job, she calls him into her office for a 7 p.m. conference meeting, pours his favorite wine, and then the plot unravels. This is Disclosure. A Perfect Murder, Wall Street Baron Stephen Taylor, played by Michael Douglas, discovered that his wife Emily, played by Gwyneth Paltrow, is cheating on him. But what is even more concerning than her infidelity is the hope of profiting from her untimely death. Well, Emily has millions of dollars and Steve's own financial empire is collapsing before his eyes. He hires her lover, played by 
Vigo Mortensen to murder her. The plan to stage a break-in that will look like a random murder. Well, this turns out to be far from perfect. This is a perfect murder. Now, I know a lot of you have seen this one, Fatal Attraction. This 1987 film is very popular thriller that features some excellent acting by Michael Douglas and Glenn Close, who, by the way, read this script in one sitting but almost turned this role down because she didn't want to do the bunny scene. Now, if you've already seen this, you know exactly what I mean when I say the bunny scene. Dan Gallagher, played by Michael Douglas, well, his life... Life is good. He is on the rise at his New York law firm, is happily married to his wife, Beth, played by Annie Archer, and has a loving daughter. But after a casual fling with a sultry book editor named Alex, played by Glenn Close, everything changes. Jilted and turned down by Douglas, Alex becomes unstable. Her behavior escalates from an aggressive pursuit to obsessive stalking. Dan realizes that his main problem is not hiding his affair, but rather saving himself and his family. This is so very intense. If you haven't seen this, you definitely need to check this one out. This is Fatal Attraction. Well, there you have it. Seven films you should watch if your eyes are starting to look elsewhere. So as a quick recap, the first one was Gone Girl. Next, we had Revenge. Then we had Derailed. And Unfaithful was up next, followed by Disclosure. After that, we had A Perfect Murder. And finally, it was Fatal Attraction. So, thanks so much for joining us today. And if you like this, don't forget to check out our other videos showcasing top lists to watch, like this one right here. The top five revenge movies you should watch right now. Or the top five running chase scenes on foot in a movie you must watch now. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.